Now, our next story is about the United Kingdom's electric dream. The country plans to ban the sale of new gas, diesel and hybrid vehicles in 15 years from now. They wish to achieve this goal by the year 2035. And let me remind you, this is five years earlier than previously planned. Here's what's happening. The British government says this is an attempt to produce air pollution and fuel emissions, cut them down. As of now, okay. diesel and petrol models account for 90% of sales in Britain. The government wishes to end such sales by the year 2035 or earlier if a transition is possible. They are even suggesting the use of hybrid vehicles. Interestingly, this announcement, right after Boris Johnson sacked the head of COP26, Claire O'Neill. So naturally, many are seeing this as a damage control announcement aimed at elevating the United Kingdom's environmental credentials. Boris Johnson, however, disagrees. He says it's part of the British government's larger plan to get down carbon dioxide emissions by the year Just 2050. The of Scotland and it's one of the many we have to deal with our CO2 emissions and that is why the UK is calling for us to get to net zero as soon as possible to get for every country to announce credible targets to get there that's what we want from Glasgow and that's why we are pledged here in the UK to deliver net zero by 2050 and we're the first major economy to make that commitment I hope you agree it's the right thing to do I think we're, it's quite proper that we should. We were the first, after all, to industrialise. Look at the historic emissions of the UK. We have a responsibility to our planet to lead in this way and to do this. However, Boris Johnson has refused to answer any questions from O'Neill, the former energy minister. He just sacked O'Neill as hit back and said that Johnson had once admitted that he does not understand climate change. But he doesn't really get it, I think is what he, he said. But others around him do. And I think my advice to anybody to whom Boris is making promises, whether it is voters, world leaders, ministers, employees, or indeed family members, is to get it in writing, get a lawyer to look at it and make sure the money's in the bank. Back to the announcement, the United Kingdom is not the only country to do so. Cities and countries around the world have announced plans to end the use of diesel vehicles. Denmark is expected to ban petrol and diesel car sales by the year 2030. France plans to ban the sale of all fossil fuel powered vehicles by 2040. The European Union too has called for banning new petrol and diesel vehicles that are finding traction. And this is a story we will continue to track.